customer feedback, satisfaction, loyalty, voted number one, Project Barracuda, tell us what you think. Michael Nolan, I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Emergency Mobile Healthcare Ambulance Service. Emergency Mobile Healthcare has been a locally owned and operated ambulance service in Memphis, Tennessee since 1997. We've grown from one ambulance back in 1997 to 20 vehicles that provide um, emergent patient care today. We provide those services for our hospitals, nursing homes, the general public, um, Medicaid um, providers, and whoever calls us. We take care of all of our patients as they're our own family. So we're not just an ambulance, we're EMHC. When our phone company royally screwed up and it took them four days to put a line in this building that should have taken them a couple of hours, Coudetel saved our business. When the Coudetel was purchased, we had it in, we were installing it over in this location. I am not a phone guy. I have not installed a phone system before in my life. I am an IT guy. I deal with computers. We brought it here week before the move, get it all set up and ready to go. And I was amazed because in literally an hour and a half, maybe two hours, we were able to get that thing programmed from out of the box to phones are sitting around at their desk. They're, I mean, you literally plugged in the Polycom phones and they auto-provisioned and they have this nice coup de tail box. It's beautiful. It sits in the rack. It's pretty. It's all lit up and they can't use it. We'd already moved anticipating that the cut was going to be on a Monday morning at 8 o'clock and the cut didn't happen until about four days later. And the phone company basically told them that they, they didn't care, that they're a bigger company than they are, and they, they didn't care. We had been running on a cell phone for about six hours, and it was one line. And our customers were getting a busy signal, and we're very critical with the calls that we take because we have emergencies, and those calls have to be answered immediately. They cannot have a busy signal. Justin, at that point, figured out that we could take our coup de tail and run it over to um, our old office and connect it. Called coup de tail tech support. It's like, yeah, we can do it. I'm like, all right, can we back up all their programming? Absolutely. And we had your tech support on the, f they were already working on the configuration and we put it in the ambulance and ran lights and sirens with it. We took the, the coup de tail in the back of the ambulance uh, over to the other office very quickly. I mean, it, it, at this point, it is basically life and death of the business. I unplugged the phones from their other phone system and plugged it into the, the WAN side of the coup de tail. And in a matter of three, four minutes max, uh, the coup de tail engineer on the phone had the system forwarding the five different cell phones that we had here on site at the new building. And he had engineering and development. I don't know who all he had on the phone, but they made that work. The coup de tail bear, <laughs> bailed us out of a big disaster. Anything that you can ask support that you want it to do, they can generally find a way to do it. So you get all the advertised features, you get the price of the Barracuda, you get their support, uh, but just overall you get a product that's going to work for you now and into your future endeavors with your companies. The quality's better, the programming's better, and we're able to provide a better product to our customers.